another another inner therm. Let's see what's going on. Huh? Inducers running. Let's see if we get any error codes. Again. The orifice is clear and I can smell gas. So. Let's take, let's take the, uh, the igniter out. Looks a little cooked. We're definitely getting power. But this igniter does not want to ignite. Burner's clear. Some chew up wiring. Let's own this thing out. Yes, 
This igniter is no good. Yeah, it's, it's weird. All right. Let's uh, let's get a new. All right, let's see if you guys can see this. So we're opening it out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. One-handed. Yeah, it just got some weird resistance, so let's go get a new igniter. All right, so we don't have the same exact igniter. I don't have any of them, but these are also on inner therms just the um the older inner therms this one's i don't know i think from 2016 or something like that but uh, these are on the older inner therms it has a sensor on it as well as a hot surface igniter so um it is made out of carbide material the other one's a nitride but um it's cold i'm gonna try to get this guy some heat for now and then I'm um, just ordering the factory one. But for now, we're gonna put this on and uh, see if it uh, see if it works. It should. Get all these screws on, get that Molex on there, and uh, see what happens. All right, got everything uh, put back together. Just gotta hook them in the gas valve. And just for curiosity, I'm gonna O mount this igniter and see what that gives me. Yeah, 66.6. .6. You guys can see that down there, but it's reading 66.6. All right, plug this in. All right, see what happens. All right, I hope it's ignite. And we got to make sure our flame sense is good. Cycle it again. 